Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release from Springfield Armory called the Hellion. The Hellion is a 5.56 bullpup. Now the bullpup takes the action in the magazine and moves it behind the trigger and the grip, which makes a very short firearm. You're looking at 28 and a quarter inches overall length. It has ambidextrous controls throughout. Even the ejection can be moved over to the left side. It takes a little bit of tooling, but out of the case, everything is ambidextrous, certainly left-handed friendly. It has a 16-inch forged steel barrel, 1x7 twist. It is a beautiful looking and shooting bullpup and I, I had so much fun with it. I took it to the range. I sighted it in the optic. I was able to uh, fire this no problem it was so much fun let's get into some of the features and i think you'll like what you see let's begin with the stock it's a five position spring loaded stock you hit this lever right here and it will back it up to wherever you want it i like it fully extended but you will see below those notches there tell you where you're at with it the bull release is right here and the charger is over here now what's cool with the charger is that it is ambidextrous so I just pull it this way if I want to charge from the left side I can push it the other way charge from the right side so I'll go ahead and pull this back and lock that bolt lock that bolt back and it is now locked back over here is the bolt release once again ambidextrous all I do is take this lever here push it forward I use my thumb there and that releases the bolt and that will also put the charger underneath the pick rail super cool i've got a 20 round mag pull p mag in there all right five 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 six here is the ejection port well this is the left side ejection port the actual ejection port is over here all right but as i mentioned that can be switched over it has a flip up rear sight you can see that that will not be in use because I have an optic on here we're going to talk about that but it does have a pick rail that goes completely across and I mentioned that the charger could go either way so this is on the right side here is the front sight it is spring loaded all right you hit the button where is it here it is you hit the button and that will put that into a sight position so you could use that front sight and the rear sight if you're not running an optic the handguard is an m-lock handguard okay polymer handguard and you can see it has slots on the side down below a couple down below over here so you could attach your accessories however you choose it does have a bcm gunfighter mod 3 grip all right nice texture to it feels good and then the ambidextrous thumb safety right here all right you fire safe and we'll notice that that is on both sides one of the things that bullpups well that i should say is so common on bullpups is that the trigger is a bit stiff but I have not found that on the Hellion. You know, the, the, it takes this long arm to go to the actual trigger of a, a standard rifle. This is not that bad. Now, I, I did show clear here, but this flat face trigger feels really crisp. And I was noticing when shooting offhand at the range that I did not have an issue with the trigger that I have on other bullpups, honestly. So... I was happy about that. It does have a four prong flash hider. All right, we'll get a look at that. It's got a cool look to it. And an adjustable gas system right here. You can move it or just keep it on the normal state or move it depending on what ammo you're running or if you're running a can. It does have QD mounts throughout. All right, you can see one there. Also has a sling mount over here. And there is the rail all the way across. Super nice. Completely ambidextrous. Beautiful looking and shooting bullpup. Take a look at this side. Very similar looking. 
But I also moved the bolt back. I want to show you once again. I've got it extended out to the right side. All I have to do is take this lever and it will close the bolt and it will move that right there. The magazine release is behind the mag well. Okay, all you do is push that in and release the mag. I mentioned the 20 round mag. 30 round mags work, no problem. All right, nice setup there. And then the the sights and the overall look and feel of this is super cool. Of course, I mentioned ambidextrous thumb safety and here it is over here. We'll take one more look at that trigger because I did just run the bolt and we'll see right there, flat trigger, nice break. A little heavier than your standard rifle trigger but that's to be expected with a bullpup when you move the whole trigger assembly forward along with the grip and you move the action and the magazine backward for an overall length of 28 and a quarter inches. The optic that I have here is a Night Force NX8. One to eight power with a 24 millimeter front lens. It's a very nice optic. I, I certainly enjoyed it. Now sighting it in was no big deal. You've got your turrets over here and over here, but over here you've got illumination. And what is really neat, when you move this to a one power, it will serve as a red dot. Okay, so you'll, you'll, you'll see your crosshairs, you'll see all the markings that are etched in the glass, but then it will serve as a red dot. But as soon as you zoom in, it illuminates that oval circle that surrounds the dot. I'm sure there's a word for that. But it, nonetheless, it certainly works really well. Now, I shot this during the day. It wasn't low light condition or anything like that. I, I didn't use it, but it does have various brightness settings right there wherever you want it, much like any other illuminated optic or red dot or anything like that, you know, make it a little brighter, make it a little dimmer. Primarily don't need it too much during the day, but it's a, a short to mid-range optic that certainly works well with the Hellion. The Hellion bullpup was based off of the VH2 bullpup. I'm told that's a Croatian military firearm that has a very good reputation. I'm, I'm really not sure. I don't know much about the VH2, but I did get to know the Hellion quite a bit, and I'm certainly excited to have it. I was excited when I first saw it. It is really interesting how short it is. You know, I say 28 and a quarter inches, and that's what it is, but it's not until you look at it and, and feel it and put it up to your shoulder till you realize how short it is. It's a nice shooting bullpup. I'm, I'm certainly happy with it. I look forward to doing more with it. The MSRP on it is $1,999. Now, if you price out other bullpups, you may realize that it's not that bad of a cost overall. And we'll see what the gun stores sell it for. Of course, you can decide if you're going to run an optic or not or use those flip-up sights that come standard on the Hellion. But it's a fine firearm. I could verify that. I Took it to the range and shot quite a few rounds through it. It certainly performed just as expected. Super excited about it. I can't wait to get it back out again already. Hopefully in a little more warmer environment. But nonetheless, I love the bullpups. I love this Hellion. And I think it's going to be a blast in the future. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.